I'm hurt. This is out of my husband's pension. I usually don't do things like this. She's too embarrassed to be identified because she lost $100,000 in a government grant scam. The 71-year-old widow from Cochise County wired the money to scammers, believing it was for taxes on the grant. Did you fall in love with this guy? Yeah, I think so. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. We were talking about moving our families together by Christmas. This senior citizen fell for a guy she met online, never in person. She wired him an amount in the five figures. She's too embarrassed to reveal exactly how much. Those women are among 1,400 Arizona residents just over the age of 60 who reported to the FBI losses in internet fraud and scams in 2017, the last year for which statistics are available. They are preying upon um, elderly um, individuals and they will not stop. It's, FBI it's agent Gary Helmer oversees the White Collar Crime Unit in the Bureau's Tucson office. The agency's Internet Crime Complaint Center's last annual report lists the top five crimes targeting Arizona seniors as non-payment and non-delivery. Tech support, that's the one in which scammers say your computer is malfunctioning and they can fix it for a fee. Your money and personal information is stolen. Overpayment, that's the old check deposit scam. Phishing and related scams. And personal data breach. Agent Helmer says cell phones and the internet have made it easier for scammers. The scammers can sit in their rooms, wherever they're located, and develop these uh, scams and then to start, you know, an onslaught of uh, attacking the, you know, U.S. citizens. These people are predators and uh, they're willing to do just about anything to get a quick buck. Jonathan Granoff is the elder justice coordinator in the U.S. Attorney's Office in Tucson. As the a population is aging, uh, the victim pool is becoming bigger and bigger for elder fraud. We have a, a trend here in the, in the United States where there are money mules that will move the money for the scammers. The FBI advises older Americans and their caregivers to never give financial details to someone you don't know, especially if you met them online. Check your financial statements every month for unusual activity and contact an attorney before signing any legal document. If a stranger calls you or contacts you or communicates with you asking for money, don't do it. While it's difficult for law enforcement to find phone scammers, it's not impossible. Last year, 56 alleged fraudsters based in the U.S. and at call centers in India were charged with stealing $300 million in the old IRS phone scam. Remember, the IRS does not call you without first having mailed you a bill, and it doesn't threaten to arrest you if you don't make an immediate payment. If you have a story you'd like us to investigate, email us at investigators at kvoa.com or call 955-4444. Investigating for you, Matthew Schwartz, News 4 Tucson.